I stood on glass days before Christmas because I wanted to get my kids an infinity LED dance floor. How do I build this on a budget? Problem one. Materials. Do I use expensive polycarbonate 250 times stronger than glass or take a risk on $30 acrylic? So I rolled with it. Carefully built a grid out of 2 by 3 studs. I'm gonna add a groove along this edge so that it can be inset. That groove is basically a lift to support each panel cut to the height of the glass. After a dry fit, I locked the frame together and added continuous strips around the perimeter so the panel sat evenly. I made six spacers to help support the weight and we're gonna just slide those in. No pressure points, no cracks. Then I drilled and secured the panels. This is what happens when the elves are too busy watching Stranger Things. I routed the edges, painted everything black, and stapled on a hardboard backer. Problem number two, creating the infinity illusion. I found these $4 acrylic mirrors. They were slightly oversized, so I cut them to fit and placed them inside with some tape. Next, I used $50 worth of 4-pin LED strips, connectors, extra wire, and an 8-way splitter. Higher LED density gives a cleaner infinity effect. I rolled out the strips around the edges, cut them at the marks, and ran everything back to one controller and power supply in the center. A bag of connectors went missing, and I was running out of time, so I spent the night soldering 32 wires. Moment of truth, guys. Does this light up? <laughs> that hysterical cackle tells you anything, I needed to screw the panels on and get everything ready for Christmas morning. Okay, final test. Are the kids gonna like it? They ran downstairs, I held my breath, and they lost it. From every angle, the infinity effect actually works. 